yeah hello friends today we will see about the unified diagnostic services and this is the most useful topic um, in one of like if you are working in the automotive industries you will come across definitely across this services somewhere or in later time so we will see about the, what is the unified diagnostic service commonly known as uds services and uh, to start about it uh, you should know basically about something about either can or some other protocol so uds is basically a application layer protocol where you will be required to diagnostic some of the activity okay so let's uh, consider the what exactly it mean and um, where it is being used so we'll start the basically with the can so then you will go to the uds i will just give us something about the can so here in the can like we will be having the uh, can is a physical layer protocol like where we will be communicating uh, with the actual can device okay so can has a different data field uh, like different fields we will just talk about the here about the data field majorly because uds is will be placed over the this data field okay so that is the most important field in this and uh, rest of the things arbitration like um, it is 11 bit identifier and other fields we will not talk about yet now so you uh, know as we communicate like basically communication means we will be communicating with the one node to another node and uh, where we will be what is mean by communication there should be a uh, some way and there should be a uh, something where we will exchange the information so how to interpret those information is the main question here so if we talk about the can uh, uh, protocol so we have the protocol in place to come uh, uh, have a communication from one node to another node but here we are not clear uh, with how exactly what kind of data we are going to pass and how we will interpret those data so for that we will be requiring a kind of protocol which will give that we by using that protocol it will be easy for us to interpret the data raw data i mean so uh, in the can frame maximum in the one can frame we can maximum transmit eight data bytes as you can see over here okay however we talk about if you want to transfer more data bytes how we can do that we can talk later so here uh, basically uds data will be fitting over here so now uds has a different services as we talk about so if you want to do uh, interpretation of the any data what kind of things we can have so one thing is whenever like if i want to communicate with other things i may require something i may want to get something so that's why we need to have a service read service which is called I will be someone will be sending the data I will be requesting some data and I will getting some data let's say um, uh, it's it's a kind of like data for the some kind of memory where I will be needing some kind of uh, temperature let's say consider the read temperature so those kind of services we have that is a read data by identifier okay so read data by identifier if we talk about then service ID of the read data by identifier is 22 okay so i have opened the page of this that is from uh, wikipedia and here we get the explanation of the read data by identifier as well now just like read also we need to have uh, some write operation as well where we need to perform certain write activity okay so for that we will be having a service called write data by identifier okay so there are different ways uh, to read and write we will talk about those service in detail later but what are the mandatory uh, like kind of operation we will perform with the data to interpret the data and so basically read and write is the most common way to deal with the raw data however there are other operations as well which we will be requiring in the diagnostic services so there are different ways as i told for read so other way is to read uh, read by memory so if we directly read from a memory this service can be used and if you want to write uh, like write a memory by address then we can use this 3d service okay so now we uh, use the read and write 
so there could be a something where we want to uh, tell uh, to the another ECU to execute something for me and give a result so it's it's kind of invocation of the some functions or some functionality or it could be anything so for such kind of operation we will be needing a routine okay so routine control so basically uh, this is the routine control service where the identifier is 3 1 okay so what exactly so is the identifier so we have a set of operations which we are going to perform so for that we have reserved the one byte that is called the service identifier so service identifier give us the what kind of operation we are going to perform okay and let's say we have a service identifier apart from that if i'm going to tell the read I'm going to perform a read operation so there are several read kind of operations let's say a temperature read pressure read current read voltage read so how would I differentiate between these different read operations so for that okay we will be either having the data identifier or sub function okay so if we talk about the read data by identifier we will be using the DIDs, data identifiers. So, which will give us the which kind of four, like, so in that case, I will be reserving a two byte. So, the, each data identifier will be having a two byte. So, I will be reserving, a, let's say, one as in one, 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 one. That is for voltage, one, 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 two. That is for current. So, if these are the different identifiers so if i will talk about 22 service first then i will give this data i will interpret this in voltage if i will give 22 and then 1112 then i will interpret it in current so that's why we have a data identifier and let's consider the for the routine control okay so i will be having a set of operations or i will be i want to invoke some different um uh, operation so for that i will be needing a sub functions so there are different sub functions available uh, for the routine identifier but we will talk about that in the next we will take some time for that actually okay so this is the basic uh, of the uds services where we'll be requiring such kind of things